Hello, this is tutorial number seven for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.7. In this video, we'll take a look at setting up the traffic pooling system. One of the things that we need to do is set up spawn points for all of the routes that don't have spawn points. So these are the routes that we configured at the beginning of the tutorial series. I'll go ahead and change the configure mode to spawn points and I'll load the routes. And I'll click around some of these spawn points buttons to create them. You'll notice that their orientation is not correct. I'll show you how to fix that in just a moment. We have an align, we actually have two align waypoint routes buttons. The first one is located on the actual waypoint route itself. So in the inspector, we can se select the align waypoints button or in the spawn points configuration tool we can press the align route waypoints to update all of the routes at the same time. Now that we have spawn points set up, we can take a look at the AI traffic controller. Here we can enable the use pooling option. We can also assign the camera transform as the center point. This is the point in world space that pooling will take place around. Next we have an AI traffic pool scriptable object profile. This is the, the list, the traffic prefabs that will be loaded. So these are the cars that are loaded. When you're using pooling, the spawn traffic vehicles for the waypoint route are not taken into consideration. Instead, it's this list. The density is the starting pool amount so by default, when we press play, 200 cars will spawn. Only the cars in the spawn zones will be active in the beginning. The spawn rate is the frequency at which pooling is updated. So that's how often cars will be disabled if they're out of the pooling area or how often they'll be enabled when the density is not met if there's a available spawn point for them to spawn into. Next is the zones. We'll cover that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and press play so we can take a quick look at what's happening. So after all of the cars are spawned into the scene, pooling is pretty much taking place every two seconds. And the scene's actually going to fill up very quickly with cars because our density is set to 200. So every time there's an available spawn point, every two seconds, a car is going to spawn into that location. And we could see all of the cars in our hierarchy are becoming active. So what I'll do for this demo is I'll set the pooling amount to a more reasonable number. Let's do something like 40 cars. Maybe... 60 cars. I think that's good. So when the cars get to the end of the route, they don't really have any place to go, but that's okay. We're just going to really take a look at how pooling works. At this point, the pooling system is active. So let's take a look at the spawn zones. So if we look down from the top view, we can see that there are no cars outside of the pink area. If I increase that spawn zone size, cars will not despawn anymore on this route because it's within the zone. But once I decrease that spawn zone size, the cars are, are no longer allowed to drive there. Now if I were to take this camera and move it, the spawn zone moves with it, so those cars are allowed to go there. Now 
Now when cars are spawning from the pool, the main thing to be aware of is the spawn points. So uh, the spawn point has a mesh render on it and it has a box collider that's a trigger. So the mesh render is actually always visible by the camera. It gets a runtime material swap to it, which is just a transparent or faded material. So when I press play, we'll see that the spawn point is, object is still active in the scene. The mesh render is still active. The box collider is active. And what it's doing is when cars want to spawn, if that object is within the viewport range of the camera, it's considered visible, so a car will not spawn there. And if the box collider has something in the trigger area, a car will also not spawn there. So a little bit more info about the spawn zones before we end this tutorial. The minimum spawn zone area is the white area. Cars will never spawn or despawn within this area. The active zone, which is the blue zone, cars will only spawn in this area if they're not visible by the camera, if the spawn point is not visible by the camera. And the spawn zone, that's the maximum zone where cars are allowed to spawn regardless of if the spawn point is visible by the camera. And that's the basics for using the traffic pooling system.